Well, first of all, I gotta apologize because it's been a long damn time since I put the video out on uh, starting to make the wakizashi. So, um, with that being said, a lot going on, a lot, you know, life happens, so uh, I'm back on it. And so let's get to it. Um, it's about five o'clock in the morning, just after. Um, that's why I got the coffee. Uh, we're gonna do the heat treat. Uh, so I'm gonna do it once it's dark. Nothing to it but to do it. We need our fingers crossed, a little, you know, nod to the heat treating guy. It's gonna be the biggest blade I've had to heat treat in uh, my little forge. So let's get to it. Well, guys, <clears throat> that was a bust. Um, I'm gonna give it a shot. I just don't think my forge is big enough. I uh, every time I get it, you and me saw in the videos as, as I tried to you know work it in and out, work it in and out, and then the uh, the tip would cool down where towards the you know uh, Mercaso area would heat up, and then back and forth, back and forth. I just could get it uh, even enough, so. On the plan B. Okay, so as you saw, the um, the heat treat didn't go well. Um, I tried in my little forge, just was not getting the heat that I wanted and the even heat. So instead of uh, trying to half-ass a, a heat treat, I went ahead and sent it off to Peter's heat treating. Um, so they they have heat treated this for me and tempered it to a hardness of 58. Uh, I got this back a long time ago, so it's been sitting here, guys. I apologize. But one thing I want to do real quick uh, before I start grinding on this, because that's the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start grinding the bevels in, um, getting that final thickness, and then uh, round the spine and everything, and start doing the handle wrap. But I want to show you how much um, curve came out of this blade uh, from being quenched. So if you don't know, um, especially on these longer blades or bigger blades, you, know, you, you have a good curve in it. And then when it's quenched, a lot of times it'll straighten out. So I'm gonna take you over here. I drew, did a, drew a template of uh, before the heat treat, and we'll look at it after. So I drew this um, before I sent it off to Peter's. So this is after it's been heat treated. Um, bear with me. I'm trying to do this one-handed and hold the camera. So I'm gonna line it up, line the handle up, pretty close there, as you can see, um, and, and look how much that point dropped down quite a bit. I mean, I'm surprised. Um, I seen a Joey, oh, Joey Adelano, I think his name, last name is, uh, do this. And I thought, man, I'm gonna try this to see, see how much it actually drops. Um, but man, it dropped quite a bit, as you can see. So it straightened out. So, um, you know, keep in mind, if you're doing a blade um, with any link like this or a sword or anything um, that has a, has a curve in it and you want that curve you know, you might have to make it a little more curved because it's going to straighten out as they quench. Because I don't know if they do, um, at Peter's, if they do a uh, vertical quench or if they're like, you know, quenching it horizontally in a big tank like this. And that's what causes the curve. Um, I don't know if you if you do a vertical one like that. Uh, maybe it doesn't quite do that. Maybe something chime in and say that. But anyways, on to the grinder.
All right, well, I've uh, taken my bevels down to close to where I want them. I'm only at 60 grit here. I'm gonna probably do 120, and then 220, maybe the cork belt. But um, before I did that, I, or before I do that, I kind of cleaned the flats up a little bit. But what I really want to do is round this spine over and, and do a rounded spine. Rounded spine on the handle, uh, round, round this all off so it's nice and smooth because I don't want any sharp corners when I go to wrap the handle. So that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, probably use a 120 grit belt, do that. Um, probably in here, I'll switch over to 120 J Flex um, that I've ripped down to a one inch just so I can get inside these grooves a little bit more and uh, contour it. Let's do it. Well, uh, I didn't go quite as far as I would like to. Um, I still gotta finish grinding the bevels. Um, and then we gotta do the handle wrap. So the next time, next video, we'll be doing that. Um, it won't take long to finish these bevels up. Um, and then we'll show how to do the wrap. Uh, I've only done a wrap a couple times, so um, we'll see how it turns out. And, uh, and then we'll do some testing. So until next time, guys, appreciate it. Thanks for checking it out.